Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Pastor Benedict James. Greetings in the most wonderful and blessed name of Jesus Christ. I welcome all of you to this victorious and joyful daily devotion. Topic for today: Not fainting under trial. By trials, God is shaping us for higher things. Galatians six nine says, "And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not." There are some people who give up and lose all their courage and faith the moment any trouble comes. They cannot endure trial. Sorrow and grief utterly crushes them. They think they cannot go on again any more. There had been lives broken down by affliction, and they have never risen again out of the dust. There have been mothers and fathers who have been faithful before any sort of storm that buffeted them, and they never cared for life again, letting their home grow dreary and desolate. And the children go uncared for as they sit in the valley of their uncomforted grief. There had been men with bright hopes who have suffered one defeat or loss and have never risen again out of the dust. But the Word of God tells us that we should never faint under any trial. God chastens us not to crush us, but to strengthen us, and to be partakers of His suffering and of His holiness. To faint, therefore, under chastening is disloyalty to God. We ought to accept the affliction and reverence. and turn the whole energy of life into the channels of obedience and service even under trials and adversities of life without giving up so we should never faint under trial because these trials are for our own good they that wait upon the lord the word of god says shall renew their strength they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint Father we thank you for this word that you have given to us oh father that we should not be weary in doing well good things for in due season we will reap if we faint not give us your grace not to faint and give up but to press on amidst trials and tribulations in Jesus mighty name we pray amen Thank you for listening to today's devotional God bless you Have a blessed day. Jesus loves you and cares for you.